Why they don't talk to us? Why Chinese, Chinese people are so shy? What's the feeling to be in a familiar country and study abroad? Why do they always feel lonely? Students from Asia are always incompatible with the society. They don't like to talk to native speakers. They don't say their opinions during the class. Some of them don't even know how to order a cup of coffee. Today, we're going to figure out what's the reason there. Yin Yulin is a international student studying at University of Utah. She is also a teaching assistant working at communication department. Yulin believes that the language and the culture are the main problems for Asian students. First, I think it's language, because the English, especially the listening skills, is not good enough. They can't get their, what the others are talking about, and they, and they can't express their feel very, uh, fr uh, very fluently. So maybe they don't. They will not have a good time when they hang out together. And the second problem, I think, is about culture. For as everybody knows, that most Chinese, most Asian students are kind of inter, intro, not very open mind, uh, so not very, not very outgoing. Asian people and Americans they don't share the same topics, especially for, like for example, they don't know what's uh, popular music popular TV shows, popular sports, something. So they can't share the same interests. So the common question is, what part of the culture makes Asian students cannot fit in Americans? Moe Takahashi is an international student from Japan. She and her friend Natsuho Aoyama are going to tell us their feeling about the huge culture difference. 自分たちが英語を十分に喋れないの分かってるから。うん。あとなんかジョークとかが理解できるけど、なんか文化の違いでかよくわかんないけど、あんまり面白いってあんまり思わない。なんか話自体が合わない。合わない気がします。The hardest part is the communication. It's not about it's not even the language part. I feel like we have different cultures and then we also have a different communication styles. That's why it's uh, kind of hard to hang out with them. アジアの人たちっていうのはなんか人を邪魔しないっていうのが一番重きを置くけどアメリカ人っていうのは人になんかカジュアルにフレンドリーにっていうのを重きを置くからそこら辺でなんか私たちは変だなって感じたりとかち
they have enough time in their life to study, hang out with their friends, and do whatever they want to do. Whereas I had to do spend double the time to read the textbook, double the time to do the homework. That left me that left me with almost like only a few hours to do whatever I wanted to do. And I think that is the main reason that you see a lot of Asians in the library um, studying, um, no matter what time it is in the day. If you go to a, um, an office that you don't know where to go to, it is okay to go to the front desk or just step into one of the offices do you see and ask their front desk um, where you need to go. Um, just tell them, just be honest, let them know that you're, you're new here, new to this office. You can ask them, I need to get this done, but I'm lost, where do I go? Um, most people will be willing to direct you to the right place. They're not going to step out from their office and walk you to um, the place that you need to go to, but they are willing to direct you. If they happen to be rude or if their answers um, end up hurting your feelings, it's okay, don't get offended. It's just their personality, it's not coming towards you. So I would definitely encourage, encourage, encourage um, students to go out and talk to new people. They're not going to judge you on your English skills, so be confident.